Patrick Salas' September water bill came as a shock. Back in July, it was $80.71. This billing period for the two months was $408.81. The 75-year-old lives alone and wasn't sure how he'd use the 58,000 gallons of water he is being billed for. I myself recently have found their errors for them. Sala lives on a fixed income. Paying this water bill would be a quarter of his monthly income. He says he would have to choose between eating or paying all the bills. So he asked the city how many gallons he used in August and September. The total came up for the two months to a little over 6,000, which is far from 58,000. And he isn't alone. There's now an entire Facebook page devoted to stories just like his. Many showing their extremely high bills, not just this summer when the city transitioned to a new billing software, but even now, well into the fall. MTN News also reached out to the city for clarification if more 60-day bills are now being sent out. A spokesperson responded saying, quote, There are a few older bills that had exceptions that were holding them up, and we are now finally getting those bills out, resulting in two- or three-month bill. But 99% of bills are 30-day bills at this point. And every customer is experiencing a different reality. According to the city, instead of bills being sent out all at once, customers are broken up into four different groups, or cycles, to receive bills. Cycle 2 customers got their 60-day bills on August 25th. In a statement, the city says, quote, When the consumption is estimated, the next bill automatically adjusts for any under- or over-billed consumption from the previous month. The city says since they used last year's usage to estimate the price for these customers, they may be seeing higher bills on the 30-day bill following their 60-day bill. But Sala remains frustrated. If I can be perfectly honest, I think somebody, one of the powers that be at Public Works, made some sort of drastic mistake. He and others are now awaiting an independent audit. The city has yet to hire a firm, but says two are being considered at a price tag of thirty to $50,000. I think what they should do, personally, is um, give their valued customers the opportunity to help choose who does the audit. An audit that Sala hopes will provide answers. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.